first of all, thank you so much, Lydia, for joining us today. Um, for those of our attendees who are, who are here for the first time, just to explain very briefly that this is Elevate Women, this is our fourth edition, um, and the aim of this uh, informal interviews, informal chats, is to make more visible the different experiences of different women uh, in the industry, and also to serve as an, as an inspiration for, for the younger generations and to have some role models to see that different people have very different paths that you don't need to you know, follow a very straight path that you know, in your head you think someone who's doing digital analytics, well, they probably studied, studied analytics in the university. Well, actually that even doesn't even exist. So yes. we, are going to, we are going to talk about that among other things. So we have Lydia here today. Lydia is head of digital analytics for, as you can imagine, football club Barcelona. And so thank you so much, Lydia. We are very, very happy to have you here today. Thank you for you to invite me and to give me the opportunity to explain my experience here. Seriously, it's a pleasure to be here, Tanya. Thank you. Thank you. So um, I'm going to ask you a series of very you know, general, very open questions so that you can kind of tell us a little bit more about yourself. So my first question is actually, if you can tell us about yourself, like who are you in this world? And how would you define yourself in, in three words? I know it's not an easy exercise, but I think no. it's, it's nice to do it for, for oneself. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I have to, to explain who I am in this world. I have to explain you how a journalist became a digital analyst manager. <laughs> so let me uh, explain my story because it's, it's pretty curious. I don't know if it's common, but it's curious at all. Um, when it's time to start my uh, university studies, I decided to be journalist because at this time, um, I would like the idea um, to be connected with the reality, to be connected with news. Um, I would like to explain to the world uh, and spread to the people what's happening in a direct uh, way with them. So I start my studies and I was very lucky because the same year um, I get the opportunity to start working in a local television in Sabadell. I don't know if you know Sabadell, it's a little city near Barcelona. And um, I started working there uh, and was very funny because I learned a lot. I learned about production. I learned about editing videos. I, le I presenting programs at all. So it was um, very interesting combine um, the working and the study because it isn't easy to do that. It's a lot of work, a lot of time. And I think here it is the key that could be define me later like a person and, and also like a professional, you know, um, this effort, this uh, working hard when you uh, book to like something, you know. Um, and I think this is also prepare me uh, for something to come later. Um, my internal uh, internship when I finish my, my degree. Uh, this internship uh, was in Catalonia Radio, the, the national radio of, of Catalonia. And uh, I entered as a journalist uh, in the reaction and I never feel like an intern during those uh, months. Um, they assigned me the same tasks uh, of the rest of the journalists. And I think this is thanks to the hard work I do before during my, my studies, um, because I could do uh, everything they assigned me, right? Um, and also I think this is the reason why when I finished my internship, they gave me the opportunity to continue working in, in Catalonia Radio. Um, I was lucky because I entered um, 
and start working as a journalist, but not as a normal journalist, uh, but as a digital journalist. And this is important because this concept was brand new in this moment. We are talking about 2007. Right, I was, I was, going, to, I was going to ask, like, what does that even mean at that yeah. time? Yeah, so yeah. it was 2007. So talking about digital was quite strange. In fact, seems a joke, but the department calls internet department. You know what I mean? So yeah. it's yeah. it's it's crazy today. It's called internet to a department. So um, I spent four years uh, working there. And um, something interesting here is that um, I realized that this type of work uh, was very interesting. And I realized I would like to uh, know more about it. For the reason, I decided to continue my studies and I uh, did a, a postgraduate in, in digital journalism. Um, and this is another thing that defines me. So um, I start working. I realized that uh, this type of work, I really like it. And then uh, I decide to study. So study is the second step to me, not the first one, you know? Um, and well, I continue, I continue working during four years. And the last year was quite interesting because I could work in El Mati de Catalunya Radio. This is a super top radio show um, working uh, with uh, Manel Fuentes. And I was in church about the live contents in the digital platform. And I learned a lot about how was the relationship with uh, the audience in a live moment. And also another new concept, the Facebook and Twitter fan pages. So in 2007, Twitter and Facebook was very super new and uh, super top in that moment. So, um, well, was my, 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 the first time I interact with people, I interact with social media networks and, and and all this stuff. And after these five years, I, I got the opportunity to start working in FC Barcelona, also as a, a digital journalism journalist. Um, I enter managing content in, in the website. And then um, my direct manager uh, start talking to me about a new concept, the digital analyst. The, the digital analysis. And this is, was a brand new concept to me. And in this time was 2011. Uh, we keep in mind, Kai School, I don't know if you know Kai School, is a, a very important yeah. school in Barcelona. Kai yeah. School was born in 2011. So <laughs> imagine, we are talking about a brand new concept. And um, well, he started talking to me about uh, if I would like to start working or, or to start uh, interest. Um, yes, yeah, interesting to me uh, about this 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 concept, and and thanks to his mentoring, thanks to this this work, uh, informing, reading a lot, looking for information. After already one year, uh, they gave me the opportunity to start working in FC Barcelona like a digital analyst. Um, so again, uh, I start, I, I interested with something, I'll try it. I uh, looking lots of information, I decide that this something that is really cool and also uh, um, related what my last my last work uh, as a journalist because yes I tap news in a website but for me uh, was very interesting to understand what the people 
uh, did with this content read all the new or uh, or, or the middle of the new uh, from where uh, after reading a new also they buy a product or first buy a product and then uh, consume content in the website so was quite interesting to me so again um, I decided to continue studying and uh, on those years uh, I, I studied the postgraduate in, in digital analytics and CEO and SIM uh, again in a moment that uh, was a, a concept very new and there are there weren't uh, many options uh, to try so um, I think that working hard um, and thanks to this mentoring too um, and reading and interested a lot about something you love um, I arrive uh, to be here, to, to be managing uh, 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 this department uh, in, in FC Barcelona, the best football club in the world. So, and re, re, regarding your question about what uh, three words could define me, I would tell you um, self-improvement, curiosity, a lot of curiosity, and also perseverance. This is this is great. No, and from everything you've been telling us, I would I'm a hundred percent agree with with those three words. And there are very there are a few very interesting and important topics that you touched upon. So mentorship, I think that's that's something very important. We've we've talked about that in our previous editions as well. I think that's, um, you know, especially when you're starting, having someone around who's able to guide you and to, to help you to understand what you like and what you don't, that's, that's super important. And if, if you are lucky to have someone like that in your life, that's great. But if you don't, I think you should look for that person. Um, you, you should like uh, consciously make an effort to do that. So that's great. And then another thing that you said that I thought was really interesting is about first trying something out and having this experience and yeah. then going back to studying. Yeah. I think a lot of people do the, the uh, you know, the, uh, yes, yeah, before the other way around. Yeah, exactly. I, I know that I was lucky and it isn't very common because norm normally people decide what, what uh, they want to be and then uh, study. My case, uh, my case is completely uh, reverse. So, yes. To me, study is the second step. So, yes. yeah, no, and I, I know it's not, it's not quite uh, normal. Common, yeah, no, but Common. It's, it makes much more sense because there are so many frustrated people, right, at the workplace because they first, they like the idea of something, they study that, and then they try to pursue that. And then at some point in their life, they understand that maybe this is not what I really like. Um, yeah, so I think that's that's a very good way to first try something out and then you can do a postgraduate, you can do a master's, you can do whatever. I think it's a very good way. Um, before we go to the next question, something that I forgot to say is that if at, at, at the end of the, the interview, we're going to have a Q&A with Lydia. So if you guys have any questions, you, you can post them in the chat or in the Q&A uh, that you can have uh, just, you know, in the Zoom kind of lower part of the menu. So if you can, uh, if you want to post your questions there, um, we, we're going to read them out unless you want to ask them yourself. I cannot uh, uh, answer questions about Messi, Barca situation, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Just a joke. It's exactly. a joke. The questions about Livia and her, yeah, and her work, not about Messi. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Good. So uh, something I wanted to ask, because you, you this uh, perseverance that you said, this hard work that you have, uh, how do you combine that with your, you know, personal life? How do you create balance in your in your everyday life between, you know, all this work and, and your personal life? It's not easy. <laughs> yes, because I'm a little bit workaholic, <laughs> but that's true that um, you need your moments. So uh, I'll try to dedicate some time in the evening, some days of the week, uh, time to me. So time to go to the team, time to go to dance, because I don't know 
Yes, we talked before. Uh, I practice Bollywood. It's not wow. a quite common dance, but no. it's very nice. So I encourage all of you, if you would like to uh, having a, a nice moment, a nice day, start dancing Bollywood. Mm -hmm. And also I practice yoga and, and mindfulness. It's, it's very uh, a, a good way to me in order to be with the, with me with the present during one hour, but um, and also uh, I take some um, uh, tips uh, for for to applicate in in during my life and also work. So um, I'll try to balance this with the work. So I say that I was uh, a little bit workaholic. Uh, even though if you doesn't have uh, children at home. <laughs> so, um, but that's true that uh, in, in this balance, I also try to be up to date uh, as much as I can. Uh, even though we were talking about uh, digital, in this case, digital analytics, um, to me, it's quite important to be up to date, to be the latest uh, news about digital uh, launches of new features, um, what's next, because uh, in, in digital, if, let me say, if you don't catch the train, you are lost because uh, the world changes so quickly uh today we are talking about cookies we are talking about metaverse appear new social media networks and if you uh not if you are not uh informed about it um you are lost for example i start uh, collaborating uh from two months uh yeah, two months, yeah, uh, with um, the company uh, Cookie at work. And is a way to be up to date in terms of, in this case, programmatic, right? But, Especially now that so much is happening with the cookies, right? Exactly. So to me, this is important. And also combine this with our daily work. And I would like to highlight another thing. So it's important to have your time. It's important to be up to date and combining with your daily work, but not forget to be strategic, not forget about the strategic projects on, of your company. Because if you think in a future, in, in a mid long term, what do you want to go? What do you want to be in, in the next one, two years? This is um, um, get you as a strategic inside your company, but at the same time, uh, put your company as a trend in your area, as a reference in my case, in terms of, of digital, but not forget this too. So try to balance this is, is, uh, something that, uh, it's my reality. <laughs> yeah. I can, yeah. I can understand, especially when you're so passionate about your job, it might be a little bit difficult, but it's great that you're finding, you know, I, I don't actually, you're the first person I meet that uh, practice Bollywood. So really, <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, yoga, of course, I know a lot of people, but uh, Bollywood, you're the first one. So that's, that's really interesting. It's really funny. Absolutely. I can do a class. Uh, we can do a class whatever you want. <laughs> <laughs> okay, great. Sounds great. I'll, um, I'll remember that. And Lilia, and what are some of the challenges, if you can maybe share, that you have been involved and how did you get out of your comfort zone to, to overcome those challenges? So the big, big challenge uh, was to create from scratch uh, a digital analytics area in a moment that people doesn't know about it. So um, imagine 2011, 
uh, when I start talking about um, funnels, KPIs, <laughs> uh, journeys, etc., to all my colleagues uh, of all my the departments, uh, was quite difficult. Um, so it isn't um, it isn't easy uh, to start um, from stack. Yeah, from stack. Uh, I have to. Um, train a lot of people, uh, training in, in the tools, but also training to understand that data was important. And not, not only colleagues, also the company. Company has to, had to understand that through data, through the data we collected, they could understand how the digital products will perform. And thanks to the data, they could improve the digital products. And this is that could today it's sense of common of sense. Uh, in those days it was very difficult to start uh, teaching. Um, so a, a big achie achievement is when today uh, some colleague uh, calls me and say, hey, Lydia, I would like to do a campaign and I need a tracking code. And I say, oh, Maima, wow, perfect. <laughs> Here it is. Or, hey, Lydia, uh, we would like to create a new website. Uh, so um, the, um, the goals of this website will be to click on this button and if they buy something, etc." how we can manage this. So this is a good achievement to me. And by the other side, is it, the, the, I would like to highlight another achieve, big achievement to me is the creation of a, um, a CRO method in, in the company. So- CRO as in a conversion rate. Conversion rate optimization, optimization right. Um, what that means, so we create a committee uh, formed by analytics team, uh, responsibles of different business, business units of Epsilon Barcelona, a UX team and, and marketing team. And through the data uh, we collect and through the analysis we did, we decided uh, A-B tests, personalizations that we, would, we could implement in our websites. Uh, or main app, uh, in order to improve whatever, improve the conversion rate of ticket sales, improve the number of uh, jerseys we, we sell, improve the number of uh, campus we sell to the childs around the world. So um, create a methodology uh from stock and when you realize that this is working and you uh get uh some results and when you see that your colleagues arrive to their uh, goals uh this is uh to me so i i, I am very proud about this this project oh. and Summarizing, the big challenge is to achieve, create from stack a methodology when no one believes and knows about uh, uh, analytics. This is the big challenge to me. Yeah, it's, it's like yourself, you started something that didn't even exist at that point, and then you had this challenge to um, promoting that, that thing that didn't exist to other parts of the company and you succeeded in doing that. So congratulations. Thank you. Congratulations. Lydia, I think at this point we can maybe jump to the questions because I'm receiving uh, some already. Okay. Uh, so those are all very, very interesting questions. Guys, you can still be posting. Uh, we do have a few now. So first of all, and I actually received two questions that are very similar uh, to that. Is your so you were you were talking about you know, in general digital analytics, 
uh, you um, talking about, you know, this cookie community that you join, etc. So what are your thoughts on the, you know, privacy? So we all know how regulations are changing and how th there is this trend on, on, on the privacy becoming more and more important for all of the companies and players in the digital world. And then, you know, even Google Analytics is under attack yeah. uh, in, this, in these last uh, few days. So what, what are your thoughts on, on all of that? For us, uh, privacy uh, always is uh, a very important issue in, in the club. Imagine in, in 2018, uh, with the new regulation of the GDPR, uh, we have to adapt. We lost lots, lots of users, but it's something that we could re uh, regularize and we have to do. And, and well, during those uh, years, uh, we work very hard in order to uh, recover all these users we lost during uh, this regulation, but it's something that FC Barcelona always keep in mind. And uh, when we talk with our legal department, the answer is always the same. Risk zero, <laughs> nil. So um, it, it's something that we always uh, keep in mind. And uh, same uh, in 2012, with the new cookie uh, regulation. Uh, quickly, we start working, uh, implementing uh, the, the in, in our case, we implementing CookieBot is, is something that everyone could see if we enter in our website. And, but again, it is something that uh, we have to, to, to have a, in, in the best way in, in our digital properties. So FC Barcelona couldn't, uh, see, couldn't know, um, not, don't, uh, could uh, allow uh, having problems regarding to the privacy. So for mm -hmm. us, it's it's quite important, and it's true uh, that in the in the last uh, days, weeks, uh, the the uh, the the new about Google Analytics and all the stuff about the Austrian government uh, regarding to the where the hosts of the all the data is in America and in in Europe. Uh, that's true, but, but for us, it's quite important. It, so it, we are talking about the, the data of our customers. And for us, it's, it's, it's crucial to have all this stuff in, regulated and in a good way. Yeah, I think, I think that's important. That's, that's important to maintain um, a trustworthy relationship with, with, your, with your customers. And and thinking beyond compliance, thinking about this relationship, and especially, um, I know actually for a fact that you don't even call them users; you call them fans, right? Uh, because that's 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 who they are. So yeah, it, it fact, also denotes a different kind of relationship, uh, yeah. a much closer one. Yeah, in fact, we don't talk about CRM; we talk about FRM. We change customer for fan. Yeah, no, that's that's good because I think, yeah, I think that 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 shows that you you care a lot about those people they they're not users they're not even customers they're fans and that that creates a, a bond between the brand and the and the people so yeah exactly so another question is uh so what you you were t talking about curiosity and how you're happy every time you go back to learning and trying new things so in this 2022, what are the skills that you think you want to learn uh, and why? What, what's, what's interesting to you in terms of learning? In terms of uh, learning, um, and now I am talking about something related to, to, to the projects we will have, are regarding uh, to the inf the another type of analysis. So um, we need for 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 one side a, try to integrate all the offline data. 
uh, in the current analysis, on, on the current digital analysis, uh, because this is something that seems that everybody is doing, but currently it's not easy because uh, it's quite difficult to um, identify users when they visit a shop or when they are uh, in the stadium. Uh, so I would like to uh, work in, 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 this, in this way. And also uh, uh, another, another thing I would like to um, uh, deep or, 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 or work uh, is in order to understand um, what the users have in our social media networks, who they are, and who we can um, work with all this data um, in order to give them the best experience in our digital products on and off, you know? Yeah. Um, because we could control all that happen in, in, in the digital, but that's true that we have some offline places that are quite important too, uh, that this relation with digital and offline data could help us to understand better what's the behavior of, of, our, of our customers, our, our fans in this case. So this is the, the both uh, projects we, we are on, on the mindset. Uh, and, and yes, um, also um, working about um, uh, more uh, about all this uh, cookie-less world and what happened if uh, we couldn't identify uh, users uh, as we used to do um, is, 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 another, is another way to, to study. But okay. yes, these three, three, three tasks or three, yeah. three issues, yeah. I think, I think you're in, on, a, on a good path. And um, I think, yeah, um, it's just about creating, as you already put it, a priority, it's creating uh, this truthful, trustworthy relationship with the customers and, and, and caring about them. And that if, you know, if you're losing some data because of, because you're respecting someone's uh, privacy, I don't think that's a problem if you yeah. have this trustful relationship. So yeah. Yeah, thinking more about probably the people than, you know, the, the, some of the actions that they could be doing, probably that could be uh, important or interesting. Yeah, and I was talking about social media because in this cookie-less world, it's important to know who is your your fan no and in nowadays we are in the situation that we we have a lot of followers but we don't know who they are so there is a, a very work a very hard work here uh, in order to capture all this information it's a, it's good to having a lot of engagement in in social media but it's true that it's as important or or more to have all this data uh, in 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 our in our systems, right? Yeah. And so another question uh, about you, uh, not even about Football Club Barcelona, but you, like with the world as as quickly as it, it is changing. So what do you imagine you will be doing in ten years from now? Wow. <laughs> It's a difficult one, right? Yeah, it's a difficult one. So I would like I would like to understand really who are behind our products, all the information we could for one side, all the information we can uh uh, half about them because this could allow us the, the other thing. I imagine 
a digital product super personalized. So I imagine uh, a company where you enter and depends on your interests, depends on your uh, last uh, sales, you are seeing something or another. No, and not only in, in the website, also when you come to the stadium, uh, come now, or you visit uh, a shop or a store uh, in Barcelona or in New York, right? Um, so I, I imagine uh, a situation where we have a lot of information of everyone, we can manage all this information uh, and we can, in, and the, the most important, we give to our fans the, the, the best experience uh, of FC Barcelona uh, in, in each moment of the, their journey, because we have to remember only the 3% of the fans comes to Barcelona and visit our, uh, our facilities. So the other 97% needed to have a Barca experience around the world. And if we couldn't manage this information, we couldn't give them the best experience. So this is could be top. Good, good. So, and just the last question as, as we're finishing, um, and, it, and it goes like this. So you describe yourself uh, as a passionate person, and this is the outcome of your curiosity. And so this person is asking, could you recommend maybe a book or something that um, you know, could relate to these values that are important for you and could be helpful to, to the team? Yeah, um, I was looking for some books, um, but uh, about different topics, because uh, one of the uh, curiosities, not, not curiosities, but one of the, uh, the yeah, the topics of my my type of work is uh, that I have to um, uh, know about almost everything: <laughs> analytics, user experience, uh, CEO, SEM, digital strategy. No, because we work uh, with a lot of departments, so we can manage uh, a report with uh, the foundation, with ticketing department, uh, and with uh, some people. We talk about a, a university behalf uh, postgraduate, and with another people, we talk about how we can sell the the new uh, launch kit. So. Um, I'll try to, to find different uh, propose uh, pr recommendations uh, in different topics. So in, in terms of uh, analytics, there is one quite important to me. It's like the Bible is the web analytics to point out of Avinash. So it's quite important. It's the Bible to me. And then uh, El Arte de Medir uh, of Gemma Muñoz also both quite interesting and to me uh, quite important if you would like to enter in the analytics world. Then in terms of uh, conversion rate optimization, there are Ricardo Tallar that I loved <laughs> and the, he has a, a book whose name is Cro, Diseño y Desarrollo de Negocios Digitales. And again, it's, it's a basic and uh, you can uh, read this book, but also you can follow him in his uh, Crocafi uh, podcasts and also in, in his blog. To me, it's, it's a, a good reference in depth of, of conversion rate optimization. Uh, there are also another topic, data visualization. We, we aren't talked about data visualization, but for us it's quite important because we, we have to work with departments, super digitals, and other departments that mm, there aren't are, uh, as digital as, uh, as the others. So um, how you represent information in the reports, it's, it's another topic to, uh, very important to us. Then, um, Pera Rubira, uh, another, uh, another reference to me, and Victor Pascual uh, wrote Analítica Visual, Cómo Explorar, Analizar y Comunicar Datos, that I think it's quite in interesting too. 
And I looking for one um, uh, related for UX. And I think uh, this one, no me hagas pensar, una aproximación a la, a la usabilidad en la web um, could be a good uh, start point. Yeah. Um, and that's it. I don't know if it's a lot of oh, no, it's, <laughs> recommendations, it's lot. but. <laughs> it's definitely, no, it's, it's, that's fine. That's fine. So okay. no, that's great, and I'm 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 sure that everyone um eh, was taking note. So thank you so much, Lydia. Uh, we have had some other questions, but maybe I will just send them to you because we're out of time. Uh, okay. So thank you so much. This has been really great uh, having you here and sharing your journey and your your thoughts. Um. So yeah, again, thank you so much for for joining us today and having this time. So thanks to you for giving me the opportunity, really, Tania. It, it has been a pleasure to be here. And if you have more questions, uh, I'll replay you uh, one by one. So thank you. Thank you so much, really. Thank you, Lydia. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.